Well, hello there, Alex. What are you doing? I'm glad you asked. I'm just out here brushing my teeth with some toothpaste. Toothpaste is an everyday appliance that us humans use to keep our teeth strong and gums healthy. Egyptians were among the first to use such paste to clean their teeth. Today, toothpaste is much more advanced as fluorides, preservatives, sweeteners, and abrasives have been added to the, the toothpaste. The only two active ingredients in toothpaste are sodium fluoride, NAF, and triclosan, C12H7, Cl3O2. However, these two ingredients are found in very small amounts, each accounting for only 0.2 to 0.3% of the toothpaste. The most abundant ingredient in toothpaste accounts for 50% of it are abrasives such as silica gels or silicon dioxide, SiO2. There are generally several different types of abrasives accounting for small amounts of the toothpaste as well. Water, H2O, is 20 to 40% of the ingredients in toothpaste. The rest of the ingredients include sorbitol, C6, H14, O6 for flavor and as a humectant to keep the toothpaste smooth and wet. What is the main compound in toothpaste and what does it do? The first one we're going to talk about, sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride, or NAF, discovered in the early 1900s by Frederick Sumner McKay, is a white odorless solid that accounts for only 0.24% in all cold gate toothpastes. NAF is an ionic compound that crystallizes in a cubic structure and is, has an octahedral molecular structure, meaning there are six atoms arranged symmetrically around the center atom like the vertices of an octahedron. Go. Everyday items, such as toothpaste, revolve around chemistry. The main ingredient, sodium fluoride, is naturally occurring in the mineral bilomite. However, it is not commercially produced from bilomite. Instead, it is synthesized in two man-made processes. Let's learn about it. The first way it is made is during the manufacturing of phosphate fertilizers. To make phosphate fertilizers, they crush apatite and soak it in sulfuric acid. This reaction gives us phosphoric acid, calcium sulfate, hydrogen fluoride, and silicon tetrafluoride. Then the hydrogen fluoride and silicon tetrafluoride have sodium sodium fluoride separated by basically scrubbing the compounds with water or fluoric acid. The other way is by neutralizing hydrofluoric acid with sodium carbonate or sodium hydroxide. This is not the only chemistry involved. Once in toothpaste, sodium fluoride goes to work. Not only does sodium fluoride prevent further tooth decay, it can repair previous minor tooth decay. Sodium fluoride repairs your teeth by replacing the lost calcium and phosphorus. When it reaches your teeth, the enamel absorbs it and the lost minerals are replaced in the process called remineralization, keeping the teeth hard. This helps slow down the dissolution of the minerals in the demineralization phase, and the strengthening of the teeth protects them from bacteria in your mouth that produce decaying acid. What's next? Triclosan. The second active ingredient in toothpaste is triclosan. Triclosan is not naturally occurring. Instead, triclosan is synthesized through a several step process that is very difficult. In toothpaste, triclosan works as an antifungal and antibiotic protecting your gums from gingivitis. Triclosan is a bacteriostatic and it targets bacteria in fatty acid synthesis. Triclosan virtually releases the ENR enzyme that prevents the fatty acids from doing damage to your gums and it does not affect your body because you do not have any ENR enzymes. So every morning and night when people are brushing their teeth, there's tons of chemistry going on. You know, this might be all a mouthful, so if you miss something, visit chemistryislife.com to learn more about the chemistry of toothpaste because it's really, really important. I mean, you brush your teeth every day. Just remember, big circles.